What's going on guys, it's your boy Fano here, and in this video I am going to be redeeming my Katowice 2019 souvenir packages, so I decided to bring you guys along for the ride. There are so many options to choose from, so let's hop right into this video. Alright, so the first thing that I look at when I try to find which uh, souvenir packages to redeem is uh, the teams. Which teams are playing, uh, how many times did they play throughout the tournament, those kinds of statistics. In particular, I'm going to be taking a look at Team Spirit, Furia, Vega Squadron, Big Clan, Hellraisers, to name a few. Alright, so what I do is I go onto the Steam Market and I query for Katowice 2019 souvenir packages, and then I go into a particular map, so in this case we have Mirage, and I uh, go into the search box and type in the name of the team, so in this case it's going to be Big. And as you can see, there are only two big clan souvenir packages on Mirage at the moment, both of which are against G2 Esports. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, big souvenir packages on Overpass, so probably stay away from those. However, on Train, there are no listings, so maybe consider going for the match that Big played on Train. You can use HLTV.org to see which maps and teams have played, or you can go in-game and manually browse through all the games yourselves. Windstrike is a team that not too many people are going to be redeeming their souvenir packages on, and as you can see here on Dust2, there's only one souvenir package with them, so maybe consider going for Dust2. Alright, so Team Spirit went 0-3 in the Challenger stage, so they did not play that many uh, maps. Uh, they only played on Nuke and Inferno, I believe, so let's take a look at them real quick. As you can see here, if you go to Mirage and you search for um, Team Spirit, you will find only one souvenir package against Vega Squadron, so uh, going for $100, that's insane. So maybe consider going for that game, that's actually a pretty decent game. Another popular strategy is to go after certain player autographs, so in particular I would recommend going after Zantarez or Waxit or even Jame from Avangar. Those players, uh, their autographs are kind of rare in my opinion, uh, and you might get lucky when you redeem. So the strategy is basically the same. You go to a particular map on the Steam Market and you type in the search box the name of the player, the real name of the player, not the in-game name. So you're probably going to have to do some research with Dr. Google. Uh, in particular, James' first name is Ali, um, A-L-I. Uh, Waxik's first name is Eker, so E-K-E-R, and I believe Zantares' name is Chan, so C-A-N. So currently I cannot find any Waxik souvenir packages on the Steam Market, so maybe consider going after him. James' souvenir package is also pretty rare, and I believe Zantares only played 5 maps and didn't get that many MVPs, so he's also pretty rare too. Another reason why I believe Waxik's souvenir package is going to be rare and valuable down the road is because he's no longer with Hellraisers, he recently uh, moved to Mouseports, so his uh, Hellraiser souvenir package will be one of a kind and pretty uncommon. He is also a future star and a very good player. Alright, so let's actually go in game and start redeeming these packages. So you go to the watch tab and you go to matches and then you select the stage. I'm primarily going to be focusing on the challenger stage because I feel like those are the most uncommon. So you can go through each game and take a look at the scoreboards because uh, the scoreboards are very important since uh, the MVPs are what really count towards uh, which player's autograph you're going to get. You can only get a player's autograph if that player got an MVP during a game. So the more MVPs a player gets during a game, the higher the probability that you will get uh, his souvenir package when you redeem. So go through some interesting games, take a look at which games are on the Steam market, take a look at which players got MVPs during the games, and uh, try to make a decision. It's, it's not easy guys, I'm telling you. So after spending a good hour on this, I finally made up my mind on which games I'm going to redeem. The Vega Squadron and Team Spirit game is very tempting, and I really, really would consider that game. But then you have the Team Spirit vs Furia game on Mirage that is also uncommon and not too many people are going to redeem. In the end, I decided to go with this game for my first choice. Alright, so here we go. And we get a Vinny autograph, so the highest probability won, but I did not choose this game only for the players, I decided to choose this game based on the souvenir packages that I observed on the market and how rare and valuable I think this uh, package will be in the future. Alright, so for my second choice I decided to go with NIP versus Vega Squadron on train. Uh, there's a very high chance I'm gonna get a red sticker or a forest or even a lecro. If I get a lecro, man, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Um, 
but uh but hey if i get a vega squadron uh player that would be pretty nice and uh yeah let's do this and we got a vega squadron player boys let me look it up real quick so apparently I got Crush's autograph, so that was a 1 in uh, 22 chance of getting it, so that was pretty nuts. So there you have it folks, those were my final souvenir packages that I redeemed. There were many good choices to choose from, a lot of good games, I would have also considered the Furia vs Cloud9 16 in 1 game where Furia just absolutely destroyed Cloud9 on Mirage. Um, there were also some other interesting games with Avangar vs uh, FaZe on, um, on Mirage. So the bottom line is there are many different games to choose from, many good games to choose from, and in my opinion, it really doesn't matter what game you choose, either way you're still going to be making some sort of profit in the end. Uh, the question is how much, and again that all depends on finding the right buyer and uh, finding the right time to sell, which is also very important in this investment. So uh, again guys, make sure you redeem your souvenir packages, don't wait till the last minute. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, profit from these souvenir packages. Let me know in the comments section below which souvenir packages you guys are planning on redeeming. And as always guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Also, if you would like to be notified of future videos, giveaways, and more, hit the subscribe button below. So until next time, this is Fano, signing out.